I just can't say enough about how great it is for all of you to brave the tornado threat. Of course, you didn't know it was coming when you, when you signed up in the first place. So that means it was pure love that brought you here, and I thank you. And you know, almost all, every aspect of my life is represented here. Hey, the carpenters didn't come. Yeah, and the donors haven't come yet either. Oh, no, they, they, the donors canceled. The donors Were they going to build a house? Carpenters? Right, the carpenters. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, the carpenters didn't come, so they can't build that house. They didn't, they didn't come. Uh -huh. They were my first part of my speech. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can we'll, make it. We'll, we'll tape it. We'll tape it. We'll, we'll tape it. 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 In the old days when we had spring vacation, we used to go to Bermuda. Right. And part of my, my fan club this evening was Dan Carpenter, who was a Bermuda, who married a Bermudian, and his son, who is hosting him in Hamden, Connecticut. And they were to come. What happened? Anybody here from them? We, we, we heard from anyway, Susie that they were coming. Susie said last night they were coming. What? We talked to Susie last night. She said they were coming. Well, they must have heard the yeah. stories. Yeah, you they talked to Susie. probably heard the tornado. Yeah. Or and uh, Dan Carpenter was an American boy who was in school under Phil's guidance in South Kent School in Connecticut when he was teaching when we were married. And Dan was a student at South Kent School, and for some reason, the powers that be of the school decided they'd bring in some girls from the girls' school of, uh, South Kent. I should decide something I can't Dana finish. It, the school has mm -hmm. died, but uh, anyway. The girls came, and Dan Carpenter was assigned to take care of a gal from Bermuda named Jane Carpenter. Oh, wow. And that Jane Banyard. Friendship started. Yeah, she was Jane Banyard. Jane Banyard. Jane Banyard. And she oh, became your What did I say, Carpenter? <laughs> 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 that came later. <laughs> <laughs> the beginning of our love of Grenada, of Bermuda, <laughs> later we got started on Grenada. And the carpenters didn't come, I'm sorry about that. But then we had Williston Academy, and uh, I had uh, expected the uh, family of our school doctor to represent my years at Williston. The There's lots of other things that came from Williston. And then there was uh, Grenada in the West Indies where we had uh, a beautiful house, but there's nobody here from Grenada. <laughs> However, <laughs> you wanted to come. That's <laughs> the NCO club. That's but the of course, Mike and Daphne <laughs> represent my connection with the Stevens clan, Phil's family who was so welcoming to me. And uh, Michael's mother's wife was to come tonight, but she couldn't come because her mother got a thing called shingles. Anybody had shingles? Oh, yeah. <coughs> Don't do it. Only on the roof. <laughs> get the shot. <laughs> get the, the shot. shot, absolutely. Charlie had it, so get, get the shot. Get the shot, yeah, yeah, not worth it. We both got it. Yeah, but anyway, I think then then uh, I've got a lot of old Saybrook rep representatives here, as well as my family. Now I think you all know Phil, Peter, David, <laughs> Jonathan, Ruth, and Timothy's in Oregon, <laughs> and their Phil. wives and, spou and spouses, oh, mates, friendship, and our new member of the Wallace tribe sitting on my right, who has decided that he has hit a gold mine <laughs> and that there are so many people he can't count them all. And my life here at the village, of course, has John Hiller to take care of me. 
and he's doing it, he shows up when I don't even know he's coming. <laughs> no His call? room is about half a mile down the uh, away from my room. And uh, I'm awful glad that uh, Jonathan and Peggy brought me here where John is, because he's, he's got a loud voice, you know. They got him to be one of the... Oh, I can hear you, Sarah. B1, B3, B, B happy, B whatever. And oh, yeah, here he's a comes caller a for bingo. A bingo caller. <laughs> anyway, we heard my him. grandchildren and my grandson-in-law. <laughs> I have to stop and think about all these in-laws. <laughs> and my in-law girls and cousins. Of all you girls, I've got such a wonderful group of daughters. <laughs> and then I have my helpers from my life around here, of Vicki mm -hmm. and Sandy and Mike. <laughs> They're the ones who really keep me going. Except for the love of all of you. Thank you so much. Oh,